All right, so if you've seen some of my other videos, you know my basement's kind of a mess where I keep all my stuff, and it's it's getting better, but it's not quite there. But part of a mess is also having a way to haul all of it, and this is my current backpack right now, and it's pretty heavy, and you probably hear on the microphone all the stuff clanging around, but uh, I got a new bag, and I'm going to see if I can fit everything in here into that and see how nice the bag is. It's one of those ones that, you know, your phone's listening to you, and it pops up because... It feels like you buy it well but a year later i actually looked into it did some reviews on it and looked pretty good so um i'm gonna see how i feel about it so as you can tell it's a different day um well could be the same day it could just be changing clothes i suppose um but i'm gonna do something that usually isn't done in videos um uh, at least i don't think it is i haven't seen it done much but i'm gonna tell you about it before showing you all this stuff. So when I recorded it, I was off-centered on it. Um, I tried to do some goofy zooming and stuff to make it not look so bad. Uh, but if you want to see it, keep watching. You'll see I take everything out of the other bag, and I do get it to fit in here, plus some, actually. Um, and I'll just let you know, I just I, I got a bigger laptop in there also, along with all the other computers and stuff I have in here for work and everyday stuff. Um, and I have been using it, and it works... It's actually worked really well. Uh, so instead of making you wait to the end, if you want to watch me transfer everything over, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to thank me for not making you go through the whole video, um, give me a like. Send a, send a share out or comment or anything like that. But I am going to show uh, some things that I did not put on video before. And just an overall real quick... Um, Real quick of the backpack itself. Uh, a couple things. My North Face uh, backpack had a chest strap. So if you're riding a motorcycle or um, conventions, I used it a lot because I could put the GoPro thing there. But I actually uh, GoPro clipped it on there and it kept it um, straightforward. Then it broke a couple years ago, so it wasn't a big deal to me. This doesn't have it if that is something you use. I should bring that up. But uh, otherwise, I did get everything in my other backpack into here. Uh, as if you watch the video, as you'll see, uh, I do keep my cameras outside. I complain about this one gum container. I haven't even noticed I put it in here. It's still in here. Uh, my lunch bag, I no longer have it dangling off with a carabiner or anything. Uh, this thing is actually big enough to fit my lunch bag in it. And a couple things I have in here. I use a deck system when I travel a lot, too, even though I have all the computers in here. So I do have room for my six button controller, my Bluetooth, and if you get through there and you see while I'm showing this, all of a sudden it cuts out, and I'm like, well, I need to get a new camera or a new phone or something, because uh, I record with my phone. Uh, well, you'll watch, you'll find out, but when I get to number one, basically, this Bluetooth to my phone, as I was editing, I figured out that was the reason why it cut out. Um, this keyboard, like the uh, mouse, is uh, capable of Bluetoothing the three different devices. Also has a groove in here actually for holding stuff like the phone and stuff. And I have a portable uh, Samsung DeX. Actually works with the Switch 2 dock in my bag. Um, conference phone. This was in my, if you watch the video, you'll see this was put in here. Uh, but here's the part that's not in the video that actually I was very impressed and did not, did not think this would fit in here. So here's the full size of the backpack. And this is a monitor I have, a games monitor. Oh, there's some paperwork from work. I literally put everything back in here from the bag. So when I say I put everything in there, I wasn't joking. Um, this is a 720p. Runs off 5 volts, though. Pretty nice. Uh, that fit in here. That is fantastic. Even though it's 720p, it's great as a second monitor. It just uses HDMI. Uh, I can actually power it off my laptop's power. That's enough to keep it going. So it's actually a really nice uh nice device and that did actually i don't need the paper in there anymore i put it in there just because uh when i did everything from the one backpack to the other i uh i said i'd put it all in there but uh yeah so you'll see if it goes in here as i was putting in here i didn't think it would go all the way down either i realized my conference phone was in there and uh it stopped on there i'm like oh well and then i double checked it but yeah i mean that goes in there with some room to, you know, room to spare because there is 
this bubbles up. But uh, just after using it for a bit too, uh, in the video if, when you're watching it, it's real crushed from being in this really skinny box. It did not take long for it to poof out and be where it's supposed to be. So yeah, that's about it. And actually before I forget, I should put some of my stuff back in here. But yeah, other than that, Hope you liked the video, and uh, feel free to uh, watch the rest of it, skip four, whatever, see see me take all the stuff out of there. Um, if you watch my videos, you'll, you'll know I don't leave a lot of dead space in there. I'll cut it out if nothing's happening. Uh, so I do skip through. So if you see jumps, I'm not cheating putting the stuff in the bag. I just didn't want to make it sit through a silent part of me fiddling, trying to, um, you know, unscrew the screw on this thing to get it off or trying to squeeze a carabiner no one wants to watch that so i did do some jumps ahead um other than that uh enjoy okay so here's the new bag i got let's get this out hopefully not hopefully not cut through to the point where i cut the bag always cut away from yourself or just just don't cut like i do all right so a box within a box I always like the russian dolls all right, so nothing else in the box. That's a really thick, uh, I'm trying to think of how many mils that probably is. It's a couple mil, maybe, well, one, two mil. It's a pretty thick uh, bag. I really just expected it to be wrapped in plastic. Actually, if anything, it's maybe like some cheap, I don't know, whatever. It does look like what was in the uh, advertised ad. Speakers feel good. Speakers, yes. The zippers feel good. Small pouch. I know what might fit in there. I will admit I'm a little worried about getting everything I have in here. I think being crushed made it a little more difficult. But the, the zippers, they're not horrible. They're not great. I would say they're better than maybe average. Kind of some weird pockets in here. But you know what? For power cords, that might be good. Or my pocket go which by bringing that up gives me an excuse to say I made a video on that. You should go check it out. So there's some inside po pocket netting in here, which I'm happy to see because I did read a review that that was one thing someone complained about. Um, but what I need is, this is basically a case for my laptop, which is what my big backpack is, plus extra stuff. But, well, that's not even a big backpack. That's the fun part. But let me get a light inside here. There we go. So you can see inside there, there's, there's a little bit of room. But it's definitely not a huge bag. But that's what I was kind of looking for. Uh, one review I read on it. Actually, I found nothing that said anything uncomfortable-wise. One person actually gave it five stars that did have a complaint, which surprised me. But that's how much they liked it. They talked about how these made their shirt ride up a little bit while walking and that they had to pull it down. I'm hoping that maybe adjusting the straps on here to fit me better won't cause that issue. Um, but... That was actually maybe one of the selling points, too, is the fact that someone gave it five stars and still had a complaint. Normally, people will say great things and still only get four stars. But uh, now I'll see if I can get everything in there. Uh, what I'm going to do is set that to the side and unload this bag. Um, my lunch bag I'm actually taking off of there. It, it clips to the outside. I can already see there's a handle on there that it'll clip to. So I already know I'm okay there. I will be skipping ahead on a lot of this stuff uh, speed-wise, but you'll see everything unload. You'll notice this clip's a little messed up. That's because I film on an Android device, and then I use my iPad for editing a lot of stuff. And let me tell you, there is no pleasure in doing that at all. Uh, some of the videos just don't go on the iPad, but I have no problem with transferring it to any other system. Uh, one of my biggest regrets, it's, it's a nice iPad. It's the 12.9 Pro. Um, I even asked, are there any new models coming out? And they said no, of course. Two weeks later, they announced the new ones, and I couldn't exchange mine anymore at that point through the company I have my internet providing through. But, um, yeah, if I had to do it all again, I would have got the S4. Now that the S6 through Samsung is out, that one I definitely would like. But 
yeah, thanks to this footage here, I think I might be done with the uh, Apple once I get to that point. But uh, yeah, sorry about the uh, screen here, but like I said, I'll cruise through. You'll see the stuff I'll pull all out and then the rest of the footage is correct. All right, so now that I got the backpack emptied, I wanna make sure I got all the zippers open here and nothing's planned out here, so I got a feeling first shot's not gonna be the best anyways. Oh, I do have one thing in here already, but that was just to carry it to this room. My uh, rechargeable LED light. But that didn't come with the backpack. All right, so you might be wondering why the hell do I have so many computers and stuff like that. The Kindle is actually, uh, I've had this for a long time. Uh, I don't even really know why I carry it. I do have some books on here. It actually is really nice to read on here. I gave it to my niece for a while, but now she has a, a nicer uh, fire one. So she gave it back to me and, well, it, like I said, it's easy to read on. So there's a good chance that is going to go in this pocket right here. But my Surface 3, now this is my personal, so personal com PC computer, iPads, mine, and my work computer. So that's why I have so many computers. Thank God they're all thin though. It adds up to a lot of weight. So comfort was very important with this. Now I don't think this is going to fit in there. It'd be nice if it did, but it's not going to. But the tablet can. There we go. Or the Kindle can. It's not a tablet. I'll leave that open for right now. Though I do like that this, it zippers and that closes. And there's actually, I don't know if you can see that, there's ridges in here. It's actually pretty well protected. Uh, I've got a little pocket here. I do have a lot of phones, battery packs, stuff like that, so we'll see where that goes. Uh, but I'm going to flip it over. So we got, like I showed before, two pockets in here. I think my devices will slide right in there. So that was my Surface and my iPad. You know, I think actually, there we go. All three, all three of my work computers go in there just fine. There's still a lot of room in there. You know what? I don't think getting any of this stuff in there is going to be that much of a challenge, actually. Because um, let's face it, I could clean up my bag. I chew a lot of gum. But these things are handy. Put my, uh, I don't know if Iron Man will fit in there. There you go. Kind of does. Got my USB. Cards and stuff. Chapstick. I wasn't joking in my other video, and I said that uh, I do carry this everywhere. So... I got a few phones here. This is a, a Wi-Fi only work phone I have. But I do want that somewhat handy. But I don't have to have it all the time. This zipper is a little tough, but it's just how it was packed. I got a feeling that'll break in just fine. Let's see, this is the case to my phone that I'm actually using my phone to record this right now. So that's why this is in my bag. Uh, this could get tossed in there, but generally my phone's inside this. This is actually a battery case for charging it. You know what? I won't set this up. I'll put it up here. It's going to go in the bag. It came out of the backpack. Let's see, my parking permit for work. I could flip it over, but why? That there, my conference phone, my gum, like I said, I choose a lot of gum. I want certain things accessible to me, so, oh, try to open all these here. So let's see, I want my gum accessible to me, I want my battery pack in there. Uh, let's see, what else would I want right away? Most of the stuff I actually get at work, I mean, I travel with this bag, it's not something I have to reach into very often, but I do sometimes. I'm almost thinking like pens and stuff can lay in here in that direction. So I'll just start loading this thing up. Actually, you know what? So a little thing I didn't do to this one. Well, maybe I did. I like to. Mechanical pencils I like because, well, one, I make mistakes. And these are Star Wars. But you can always hold that down and push them in. I get really, I had a pen explode on me once, and ever since then I'm really nervous about it. And that's just for my surface, so that doesn't matter. 
Um, if you look at another pen up here, here we did. This is the only ink one I have. It does have a, a cap on it though. All right, so battery pack will go back in on top of there. So at least that's accessible. Um, I actually think I said that word right. I'm not putting anything else in this side, so I'll pop one water bottle in there right now. I actually generally don't have two water bottles on me, but like I said, it came out of the bag, so it's going back in. All right, so these can go inside the main part. Cables, I do like to have, normally I don't have my cables this messed up. You're probably thinking, well, you can put cables in with the Kindle, and I could, and that probably will eventually end up happening. Uh, but if you notice, the Kindle was almost dead, and I do like the fact that I can leave some room in there and throw a battery pack in there with uh, with a cable and charge that up. But also, kind of, the Kindle's on the bottom side. Well, no, it is on the top side. I'm getting all confused on myself. My camera bag is accessible from here, so it throws me off a bit. All right, so rubber band. Everyone should have a rubber band. It's good for holding stuff together, whether I keep it that way or not. Um, I don't access this much. I don't know if you saw the video on this, but I use this for DS emulation and some other emulation. It's actually a nice phone. You know what? That's going to go in with the Kindle. I don't use that very often at all. Um, in fact, a lot of this I don't but I like having it on me. You know what, my parking permit. That go in there. I rarely use that. Don't tell my work. Uh, let's see, yeah, so that's good. Put the cables in there. Velcro, I always keep a, I always have like Velcro, a keychain tie and like that. This is actually from a Call of Duty uh, Leap Package thing. It's a lanyard with an emergency rope, so see if there's a place to put it, which I already know there is a place to put it. This is actually what I usually use my to hold my lunch lunch bag on, but the other day I took it off. All right, so let's put the strap in here for the laptops. Nothing else is going to go in with those. I'm actually not crazy about putting this piece on. I did use it, but not a lot. We'll come back to that. All right, so let's hopefully my carabiner will fit through here. So I do attach things to that. It doesn't ever come off. There we go. Yep. In fact, bracelet thing here, that's going to go on here also. This looks extremely well built. So I don't worry about, I'm not going to worry about hanging things off of this. So what I do use this for is my, my car keys. Every day I get out of my vehicle and I'm walking into work I clip them on here so when I walk out to my car I don't go oh crap I gotta run back inside so if you're wondering why I'm putting it where my head would be it's not actually a big deal because that's why I use this when it comes off so easily so that's actually gonna be a good spot for it I really don't want to put this back in there. I don't need it. It's actually when I emptied. But I took it out of the other one and I said I was going to put it in. So it's going to happen. Alright, so let's see. Chargers. I do access these chargers in my earbuds. I... Okay, so my camera decided to shut off. Uh, where I left off was this zipper here I was kind of talking about in there. Um, here's another carabiner. I just put it on there. Make it grab a little easier until this can uh, start folding out from being in that box. It's already, though, going into its shape. I really like that. Um, I probably won't put anything real heavy on here. I always just have a spare carabiner. Uh, if I do need to put something heavy on it, I'll put it on top of the other one. But the one thing I wanted to show on here is this is where my earbuds and my chargers went. And this zips from top to down, which is really nice, so nothing falls out if I need to go in there. Um, I'll probably even rearrange this a little bit where these are down. So I've got my quick charge one here for my deck system on my Samsung. At the top I'll put this here and then the iPad one I only take out if um, like I can use this one well really only take it out at work too but I can use it in the car too if I need to charge the phone. Um, and then 
my earbuds I can use prior to work. Otherwise, the other ones get used at work, so not a big deal. Uh, this here is where I shoved all those cases, the gum cases. They actually fit with the Kindle really, really well. And then these will fold down. And then that doesn't leave a lot left to go in here. And as you can see, I got a ton there. I got pockets here. So my battery case, like I said, it's usually on my phone, but we'll stick it in here. We'll put that there. Actually, you know, the dictaphone gets used very rarely. This is kind of the area I'm putting stuff I just don't access very often. Oh, well, that fits in there pretty well. I'm amazed how much fits in there. And then my glasses. That can go in there. Actually, we're going to put them up here, and I have a reason why in a bit. I want to see. So I have one more computer. Ah, these are my sunglasses. They're not normally actually in here at all. Well, but you know what? They're going to fit just fine. Sorry, everything's going to fit in here just fine. But that was everything that was in my backpack. Let's check one more thing. My big laptop. It's actually one of the reasons I got the bag. I wasn't planning on putting all my stuff in there. But when I saw what a lot of people said for reviews, I got kind of excited. So let me take my hard drive off because I never leave that on when it's in the bag. And that's going to fit perfectly in there because it's so flat. And yes, I Velcro it on there. Just makes life a lot easier. Well, let's see. I am not expecting this to fit. This is a pretty big... Holy crap. That fit amazingly. So I have in there HP Spectre, iPad Pro 12.9 inch, Surface 3, a Dell 17 inch all inside here i could actually fit another one weight wise i wouldn't want to but i did say i'd put everything in there so there's my sunglasses there's my bluetooth this was not in there but i think everybody should carry around one of their uh one of their mice uh this one's nice because it actually will do um oh, i don't have the dongle in there so it won't do that but it doesn't matter because this has three sets of Bluetooth, so let's see here, if I flip it on, right there, that's my, two is my work computer, three is my big Dell, and one is my, huh, my phone went out again. I'm going to have to get that checked, or get a better camera. So like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to uh, show a few pictures here and talk about how I feel about the backpack, and actually after using it, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm very happy I bought it. I, I did buy it primarily to put my laptop in my big one just to protect it. Uh, you know, a, a $39, 34 whatever I paid back, dollar backpack is, in my opinion, uh, a pretty good investment to protect a bigger investment. Uh, I mean, I have, huh, I have a case on my phone because you saw it. If you watched the video, I put it in the backpack instead of actually having it on my phone. But I mean, I have a screen protector on it, which thank God I do. There's cracks all over it, but it's on the screen, not the or the protector, not the screen itself. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a good investment. I have a bag for my camera, uh, the North Face bag that will get repurposed probably for something else, uh, and it's really, uh, really a good backpack so far. It seems to be built really well, and I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, otherwise, uh, I hope you liked the video. Sorry about the footage, but that's why I did the. I guess the reveal up front and um, made it more uh, palatable, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but I, I'm learning. That's why I do this. Uh, you know, I try to put out two videos a week and, you know, Saturday morning at eight and Wednesdays at noon. And that's just because, um, well, I hope people enjoy it. I actually enjoy doing it. It helps me with, uh, you know, I'm a bit introverted watch my videos you'll notice i haven't been on camera much until lately unless i'm playing games because then i just kind of forget that i'm even on the camera but it uh you know it just helps me out and uh i, I hope you get something out of it and you enjoy it but otherwise uh like subscribe thanks share it uh let me know in the comments thanks